Welcome to Dishing Delights. My name is Jenica and today I'm going to share with you what I did over Labor Day weekend. I tried keeping it as simple as I could. I made an icebox cake that I've been meaning to make for quite a while now. And then I went to my mom's house and I made a taco salad with her. And then we just had hamburgers and hot dogs and we had a super simple spread on Sunday. And then on Monday, we did a lot of yard work around the house and my husband worked on the bridge with his dad for a little bit. So I pulled some hot dogs and brats out of the freezer. And then I just served it with some macaroni salad and chip. I kept it as simple as I could this weekend. So I'm just gonna share with you what I did over Labor Day weekend. So come along and join me. The first thing that we are going to make is a strawberry icebox cake. We are going to follow a recipe that I found on amandascooking.com. I am going to link the recipe down below. For this recipe, you are going to need two cups of heavy cream, a half cup of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, one pound of strawberries, and one and a half sleeves of graham crackers. When I looked up her recipe, she gave a couple good tips. One was to freeze the bowl in the beaters that you are using while making the whipped topping. Unfortunately, I chose a bowl that was a little too small, so I had to switch them out, but I thought that was such a good tip to share. And I added the heavy cream, the vanilla, and the powdered sugar together. It took me about two and a half to three minutes to see stiff peaks forming on my lowest setting, which was a sign that it was done. This was my first time making whipped cream and it was so simple and cheap that I think I'm gonna make it quite often from here on out. I think I'm gonna make some later and add it to coffee that would be so good. Now that it's finished, I'm going to just pop a lid on it and toss it into the fridge until I have the strawberries all washed and sliced. Now that the strawberries are prepped, I am going to layer one thin layer of the whipped topping onto the bottom of the container. I am then going to add a layer of the graham crackers and then a layer of the strawberries. And then I'm gonna take a third of the whipped topping and I'm gonna add that. And then I'm just gonna do this three times and then this dessert is already ready. This is such a simple dessert. I found making this dessert was so relaxing. This recipe would be great if you wanted to get your kids in the kitchen. It would be so fun for them. Now that the strawberry icebox cake is made, we are going to set it into the fridge for at least four hours to let those crackers and whipped cream set together. I served it four hours later and it was perfect, but I can only imagine it only gets better the longer that it sits. The next recipe we are going to make is a taco salad that my mom would always bring to church potlucks and some family get togethers. Also, I am doing this in my mom's kitchen and watching the footage back, I am so jealous that I cannot cook here every single day because her kitchen is so beautiful. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take a pound of ground hamburger and I'm browning it. Once that it is browned, we are going to add the taco seasoning and per package directions, we are going to add the two thirds cup of water to it. Mm -hmm. 
And then once that is browned, we are just gonna set it aside and we're gonna let it cool. Now that the meat is cooling, I'm going to dice up the tomatoes that we are going to add to the taco salad. For this recipe, we are going to need taco seasoned ground beef, two or three diced tomatoes, Mexican blend cheese, lettuce of choice, Doritos, an onion diced if you'd like it, but we opted out, and then whatever sauce you wanna serve it with. We use salsa and sour cream, but I know Catalina dressing is a favorite, but you could also add like a chipotle ranch or a cilantro lime dressing would work wonderfully with this. What I'm doing here is I'm just adding the lettuce to a big bowl, and to that I'm going to toss in most of my other ingredients. We are only serving eight people today, but only four or five of us are gonna eat this, so I tried not to overload the bowl, and as I mixed it through, I tossed in more of whichever ingredient we thought it needed. After the taco salad was set aside, we finished up the hot dogs and hamburgers that were on the grill. And as you can see, my mom's backyard view is just as pretty as her kitchen is. That pond that you can only see a fraction of, it was such a beautiful backyard view. But it's also very convenient because after lunch, my husband was able to take our nephew out fishing. It was the cutest thing. They ended up catching a fish almost every single cast. So it was a very exciting time for a four-year-old. Now that the burgers and hot dogs are done, I took them off the grill and then we had a wonderful lunch. Like I said, we just tried to keep it as simple as we could. My mom made some baked beans and some cookie bars that were absolutely amazing. I'm gonna have to grab that recipe from her and make it for you all for another video, but it was so good. And then we also just had like corn and chips, like super, super simple. Also, this microwavable, like Tupperware corn, steamable thingamajiggy that my mom has is amazing. I need to get myself one. And now I am serving up some of that strawberry icebox cake, and this was such a hit. I ended up sending it home with my sister, and she texted me later on and was like, this is amazing. I need this for my birthday. And this here is the aftermath of our wonderful lunch. On Labor Day, we just got a little cleanup on our property done. I had to work for a few hours in the morning, so once I was done with that, I came out and helped out a little bit. We had to clear out an area for the bridge, to, so we had to take a few trees down, and we actually used to cut and haul wood during the winter months for a little side hustle, so this brought me back to that. Although I was much more in shape back then, feels like I need to do this a little more often. Like I said before, the theme of the weekend was simplicity, so I just made some hot dogs, brats, and burgers, and I served it with chips and mac salad, and then we just had a nice little lunch down by the bridge. 
it was like such a fantastic easy day that way we could just relax once all the work was done and have leftovers because i wasn't cooking again thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe it helps your girl out and stay tuned the next video is going to be a shelf cooking video and it's going to be a good one